The first seeded Hopkinton Hillers baseball team battled fifth seeded Stoughton. The Hillers were the home team at the neutral site location of Stoughton High School. Top of the second, Stoughton threatened a bit, but Fisher's pickoff move was too much to handle. Josh's got a good pickoff move. We'll check in, and he picked him off. Throw to second, and now the throw back to first, and they got the tag. I just got uh, done saying he's got a good pickoff move over there, and what happened? There you go, Nazaro picked off a great throw by Fisher. Right up in the pitch. Actually, he's going to pick him off again. Throw to second. McKenzie is going to go back to Kelly. The tag got him. Two pickoffs here in the second inning. And that will wrap up the top of the second. What a move by Josh Fisher. Two pickoffs for Fisher to get out of the inning. Bottom of the fourth. The Hillers got the scoring started. And this is going to be a fair ball up the left side. The throw to first is in time, but the Hillers will score a run. A sacrifice, RBI ground out for Brendan Kelly. Ronnie Sheamus coming around to score. Up to third is Connor Kelly. Lined up in the pitch. And this is up the right side and bobbled by the second baseman. Picks it up, throws the first, gets the out at first, but a run scores. Connor Kelly comes around to make it a two to nothing game. A sacrifice RBI ground out for Cole Glassburn. The Cardinal, Cole Glassburn. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers heading to the top of the fifth. And a great defensive play got Fisher and the Hillers out of the inning unscathed. And this is hit in the air, foul territory, and it is caught! Went off of Brennan Kelly and Josh Fisher is able to make the catch. Score that what? Kelly with the assist, Fisher with the out. Three to one. <laughs> that oh. is out number three, a three to one fly out. <laughs> Unbelievable. Things are going right, things are going right. It was a two to nothing Hillers lead heading to the bottom of the fifth, and then it was rally time. Right up in the pitch. Gets a piece of this one, and that is over to left field. That'll drop in. Here comes Simos, and another runner right behind him. Ambrosoni will score as well. Throw to second. Sheamus is safe. An RB, a two RBI single for Sheamus, and he advances to second on the throw in. And this is ripped into right field. That'll get down. Sheamus being waved around third. Here he comes, and he will score. 5-0 Hillers, an RBI single for Connor Kelly. And this is hit in the air, over to right field, to the fence, that'll drop in for a hit. Connor Kelly being waved around third here, he comes and he will score to make it a 6-0 game. It's an RBI triple for Brendan Kelly. Didn't even have to slide, oh my. This is hit in the air, over to right field, could be trouble, and it is going to drop in between four fielders. Brendan Kelly's gonna tag and he will score, and it's going to be a seven to nothing game. And he got hit, that's going to score a run. Six runs score in the inning to make it eight to nothing Hillers. Top of the sixth, Stoughton with no outs and a man on, but Steve Simos would help clear the bases. Up the middle, picked up by the shortstop, throw to second for one, now the throw to first. It's going to briefly get away from Kelly, and now it's picked up by Simos, the runner trying to go to second, the throw over, they got him! They double him up anyway! That's hustle, 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 baseball. Stevie Simos running up the first baseline from his catcher's position. Picks the ball up, they got by Kelly, and throws the runner out. In the bottom of the sixth, the Hillers added even more security. Wind up in the pitch. And this is driven into right field. That'll get down for a base hit. Sheamus around third, he's gonna try to score. The throw in is not gonna be in time. It's a nine nothing Hillers lead. An RBI single for Connor Kelly. His third of the day. As this is driven over to center field, way back, and it's past the center fielder. One run, 
One run is in. Here comes another run. Pagliuca coming around. McKenzie heading to third. And it's a two RBI triple for Ben McKenzie. 11 0 Hillers. And he'll drive this one over to right field. This is going to be big trouble. Down it goes. McKenzie will score. And Simos rounding second, heading over to third. And that is going to be an RBI double for Simos. The umpire says go back to second. It's a ground rule double for Stevie Simos. The Hillers take the win over Stoughton by a final of 12 to one. Josh Fisher was terrific on the hill, pitching six scoreless innings and striking out seven hitters. Ronnie Sheamus had a good day at the plate. He went two for two and scored three runs. Sheamus had a 1,000 on base percentage in the game as he also was walked and hit by a pitch. Ben McKenzie was also a force to be reckoned with, going two for five at the plate with a double and a triple, he drove in a pair of runs and scored one. The Hillers advance to the sectional finals to battle Westwood. The game will take place Saturday, June 15th at Campanelli Field in Brockton, a 10.30 a.m. first pitch. Tom Nappy here with Josh Fisher and Steve Simos. Today's battery combination, the Hillers victorious over Stoughton, 12-1. Josh, you pitched a tremendous game out there. Uh, how did it feel uh, competing in this sectional semifinals game as a sophomore and having a performance like that, six shutout innings, unbelievable? Uh, well, obviously it's a bit nerve-wracking when I first start, but as soon as I threw the first pitch, uh, I felt locked in. Uh, with Stevie catching, I'm always comfortable. And, um, and the first thing I did when I found out that I was pitching is that um, I watched um, Brendan Kelly pitch against Greater New Bedford when he was a sophomore since he was in the same exact situation as I was, and that gave me confidence. Absolutely, and Stevie, you had a great performance out there, and you made a, one of the most tremendous defensive plays I think I've ever seen where you backed up the first baseman on that overthrow and ended up getting uh, the runner out at second for the double play. Uh, obviously, uh, you know what to do in just about any situation, but... Uh, how did it feel just to make that tremendous play that you rarely ever see in any baseball game? Yeah, I felt good. I thought it was going to be a double play, but uh, we are, we're always taught to back up, so that's what I did. I got lucky with the ball, and he decided to go to second, so our guys were there, and we were able to throw him out. So it was what it was the result we wanted, but in a different way. So we were planning on a double play, but we got it anyway. So, and Josh, you're a sophomore, and you have uh, – Many more good years to come here as part of this Hillers team. What's it been like to play with this group this season? This group is like family. It, it, this is like the closest I've ever felt with like brothers. It, it, we, we are literally brothers. I trust every single player on this team. Everybody is great. The defense is fantastic. The pitching is fantastic. And our hitting is fantastic. So everything we have is fantastic. And it's just brothers playing baseball. Absolutely, and Steve, this is the first time in your high school career going to the sectional finals. How does it feel to get to that level as a senior especially? Feels great. Yeah, we've been waiting a long time to get here, so we're just excited to play. Coach, you're going to the sectional finals. How does it feel to get to that level, especially this season? Uh, feels great. I've been together with the seniors since they were little kids, obviously, because my son is a senior. and. Uh, they're a, such a special group character-wise. Um, they showed that again today, kept an even keel and pretty adverse uh, circumstances, a hostile environment in terms of um, the fans and things like that, and they were just awesome. They're just very businesslike, respectful character kids. And Josh Fisher was absolutely tremendous out there on the mound. Can you talk about his performance? I don't want to. I don't want to brag about him because I don't want his head to get big. Uh, but he's he's special because he has a beautiful makeup for a pitcher. Um, he's blessed with a very good arm, but he knows how to pitch. He knows how to keep his composure. He's a, a real competitor, and he's a wonderful, wonderful kid. He's he's a funny dude. Um, couldn't be happier for him. And I I know you uh, don't want to give your uh, son too much credit, but. What was running through your head when you saw that tremendous double play that he made? That was unbelievable where he backed up the first baseman through the runner out going to second. 
Well, that's what he's supposed to do. He's the catcher, so he's supposed to do that. So that wasn't that much of a play. Unfortunately, his at-bat was the only one. They said he hit the ball well to right field, but I, the only at-bat of the game I didn't see because I was talking to Josh. Um, but, yeah, I'm, he does. He did his job. That's, that's, um, that's what he's supposed to do. He's a captain and a senior and a catcher. And your offense really came alive today. Could you just talk about uh, how the bats got going today? Yeah, we have a um, – we have a little expression that we had lately that uh, our seven will come if they stay with their plan because they really have a good mindset at the plate. They're, they're, they have ability, but they have a good mindset. And most of hitting is about approach uh, and the belief that our seven will come, that will, will, our big inning is what we mean by that. And the last two days we've had that big inning. And that, that's really disheartening for another team. Hey, Coach, I've heard that you got Westwood in the sectional finals. Uh, can you talk about your upcoming opponent? Really interesting. Um, I think they're extremely well coached. He's a really good guy. Uh, but what's very funny about it is probably the two worst baseball games I've ever seen are games against Westwood. We were horrible, and they beat us, and they were horrible. And we were equally horrible, and we beat them. So both teams, I think, think the other team stinks, uh, and both teams are talented. So it's really interesting. I, I have a feeling both teams will play uh, really well, and it'll be a low-scoring, well-played game. Um, but it is funny. Those were our two most horrific games for both teams. I think their coach would agree. So we're looking forward to it. It should certainly be interesting this weekend. Coach, congratulations on reaching the sectional finals. Thank you.